the deaf ABC's Zygote the first film. The film opens with a man and his pregnant wife, and it soon becomes clear that he is leaving town, leaving the woman alone. Terrified at the prospect of being abandoned, the woman begs her husband not to leave. Thirteen years later, the unborn child has taken over her body and is using her skin to live. When Ty leaves his wife, the midwife hands him a jar of medicine to keep his wife from going into labor until he returns. Ty assures his wife that he will return in time to watch the birth of their kid. Returns on his way out, Ty tells his wife that the jar's contents are enough to last for some years, and then he walks out, leaving his wife behind. The wife waits patiently for her husband, and after several years, the pregnant woman still hopes that her husband will return so she continues to take the medicine he prescribed to postpone the birth. Thirteen years later, the jar is empty, and the entire household has been abandoned. When the unborn child insists on being released from the mother's womb, the woman begs the child not to abandon her, at which point the unborn child stretches into the mother, removes her internal organs, and emerges as an adult who now wears the mother's body as a bodysuit, cleans up, puts the house in order, and generally has a good time. Ty doesn't show any compassion, instead suggesting that they try for another kid despite the woman's clear disinterest in repeating their history of infertility. In the first scene, a man named Alistair is rushing to the bank, but he is delayed when he runs into another man. After Alistair sees that Samir Aziz has taken an inordinately long time to withdraw money from a cash machine, he becomes irate and makes racial and culturally insensitive comments about Samir once he is finished. Comments made by Alistair force Samir to stop and he has no other backslash sko ice than to confront Alistair the two backslash sex change insults with Alistair leaning backslash s'more on the racist side the second time Samir and Alistair meet. Samir decides Alistair isn't worth his time, and he walks out on him. The film records this as the first time the two meet. The third time they meet, Alistair is being considered for an official position in a company that turns out to be owned by Samir Hollister. He receives positive feedback from his interviewers and he assumes everything will work out well. Samir is sure he has met Alistair before, and it only takes a few seconds for Samir to recall that Alistair was the man who talked him down at the pay register. Alistair backslash did not receive the job backslash s a few years have gone and the two meet backslash s for the fourth time Alistair is now backslash s homeless Samir claims he has no recollection of Alistair, but Alistair recognizes him as one of the persons that walked by. Alistair then proceeds to tell Samir's story of how he was passed up for a job with Samir's company years ago. A few minutes later, Samir returns from the ATM with a wad of cash, to which Alistair responds with shock and gratitude before wiping away tears. Samir bids him farewell and departs, and the film then flashes back to the first time the two met, when they were both working on a castle on what looked like a beach. Samir, who has lost the capacity to talk, is a resident of a special home for the elderly. Alistair is a volunteer there, and after being introduced to Samir by the staff, he assures Samir that he will be well cared for. Samir is relieved by this, and as Alistair continues to stare intently at Samir, he asks if the two had met before, to which Samir doesn't give an immediate answer but instead smiles as if to suggest that they have. 